Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Decoded. My name is Anshu today. I am working as technical architect at Adobe. And first of all, I would like to wish you all a very happy Independence Day. 75 years of independence has completed today and it's a moment of pride for the entire nation. I am creating a very interesting reel today, so do catch me over Instagram. And with respect to solving today's lead code problem, which is Roman to integer, let's proceed towards it. For all those who think that this is a difficult problem, it's not. It's a very fairly easy problem. What we need to do, we need to identify the Roman to integer conversion and we need to return as the final answer. Now comes the concern, how can we do this conversion? So without further ado, let's quickly hop onto the presentation where I'll explain you the algorithm behind it. Roman to integer conversion, lead code 13. Also, we have already solved the reverse problem, which is lead code 12, integer to Roman. So once you go through the solution and you want to try out more such problems, you can try lead code 12, integer to Roman. I'm attaching its link in the description as well, so do check this out. Also, if you want to ask anything from me in general with respect to placement, internship, job opportunities, please feel free to drop a message on the Telegram group or the Discord server of Coding Decoded. Both the links are stated below. Now let's get started with solving this problem. So as per this, per this table, you can see that we have, let me just take a pen. We have a mapping, uh, I maps to one, V maps to five, X maps to 10, L maps to 50, C maps to 100, D maps to 500 and M maps to 1000. What we need to do, we need to, you will be given any Roman representation of number and you need to generate its integer representation. And what that would be, we can bifurcate this entire algorithm into two parts. The first test case that we have is an additive test case. And let's try and understand this additive test case by an example. So let's assume that the Roman representation is of type V followed by triple I. And we know that V maps to 5. We know that I maps to 1. So let's write 1, 1 over here. And the final output for this representation would be 8. We are aware about it. So this is 8 in integer value. And we have to make this decision whether we'll have to go for an additive operation or a subtraction operation. And I'll tell you why I'm saying subtraction operation in the next example. But remember, here in this case, we'll go for an additive operation. And we have to make this decision as we progress towards the iteration. So let's create the answer variable, initialize it to 0 by default. And the first character that we see happens to be V. So V maps to 5. And again, we will have to make the decision based on the next forward character. So the next forward character happens to be I. Since we have the forward character or the next character as I and the current character as V, then we will go for an additive operation. We will add 5 to the result. So 5 uh, answer gets updated with value 5. Let's proceed ahead. Next we have I under consideration. So I maps to 1, we are aware of this. And we'll have to make a decision whether we want to go for an additive operation or the subtraction operation. We will see the next immediate character towards right. Was it is the next immediate character towards right? It is again I. Since we have the current character as I, the next character as I again, we will go for an additive operation and one gets added to the result. So we have six, five plus one, which will give you six. So the answer gets updated to six so far. Let's proceed ahead. Next we have another I under consideration and we will check what is the immediate next character. The immediate next character is also I. It forms the same combination. Current character is I, next character is also I. We will add one to the result. So the answer gets updated to seven. And we have now we have reached a terminal point. The current character under consideration is I and I maps to one and we will add one to the result and this becomes eight. So this is another corner case. When we are at the last character, we have to simply add whatever values there to the final answer. So we get eight as the final output. And let's walk through another example where again we will be going for an additive kind of an operation. Let's assume that we have the input string as x, x, v, i, i and x maps to 10. So this gives you 10, this gives you 10, this gives you 5, this gives you 1, this gives you 1. So in total what do you get? You get 27. 10 plus 10, 20, 20 plus 5 is 25, 25 plus 1, 26, 26 plus 1 again. 27 and exactly we will check the current character under consideration the next immediate character under consideration and if it is a combination of xx what do we do we add 10 to the result so 10 gets added to the result again we do, what do we we do the same kind of thing current character under consideration is x next forward character is v since uh, current is x forward is v we'll go for an additive operation for this particular value the answer gets updated to 20 
and the rest of this is the same as we just talked about so far so good now let's move on to the next example which is the subtractive algorithm and let's take the case of the input string that is given to us as of type i followed by v and let's do the same analysis again uh, i maps to 1 and v maps to 5 so let's start the iteration the current character under consideration happens to be i and i maps to 1 so what do we check we check the next immediate character the next immediate character happens to be v which maps to 5 so under such circumstances where the next character is v the current character is i we'll have to go for the subtraction operation so right now the ans is initialized to 0 and we see such a combination we will subtract the value instead of adding this value so uh, the answer gets updated to minus 1 this is a very important point guys remember this and the next character that we see is v and this marks the terminal termination of the entire expression we'll add the last character whatever it is to the final result so what do you get we get 5 minus 4 5 minus 1 which gives you 4 and this is in sync with our expectation there will be more possibilities where we'll have to make a decision for subtraction as well as addition and i'll talk about those possibilities in the coding section so let's quickly hop on to it first thing that i've done here is to create my map and this map is in sync with the what specified in the question symbol versus value moving ahead i've created a number which will actually store my final answer i start iterating from left to right or you can do it from right to left either ways will work and in here i have iterated from right to left and i have taken current character into consideration extracted its numeric value from the map and in case my current index is not equal to the last index into consideration if that is the case then what do i do i check for the previous next immediate character which is there towards the right if my next character happens to be of type v or it happens to be of type x and my current character under consideration happens to be of type i i'll go for the subtraction operation and again the second test case is if my current character under consideration happens to be of type x and the next character is l or c i'll again go for subtraction operation and the third test case is if my current character under consideration is c and my next character is m or d i'll go for the subtraction operation in these are the three cases where i'll have to go for the subtraction operation and in the rest of the cases which would be the most of the times i'll go for an additive operation and in case my current index in under consideration happens to be the last index again i'll go for an additive operation and once, once i have processed over the entire string what do i do i simply return the number variable whatever is stored as the integer value in it so let's try this up accepted 45 percent faster which is pretty good with this i hope you enjoyed today's session if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel your subscription means a lot to me Thank you.